Jose, Wait. huh? Wait, that's not the right. Hold on a minute. That's not the right one at all. That's not how we do this. There we go. And then, okay. How's it going, everybody? Hopefully, everybody's having a good day so far. I guess it just started. Hold on a minute. Trying to make this not look like a episode of Batman. <sighs> it's a Dutch angel or Dutch angle reference. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm I'm still waking up. Um. Also, why did that change resolution? I don't know, man. Whatever. That's actually ugh. That's actually really annoying. <laughs> Maybe I can just click and drag it. Uh, okay. Hey, you know what? We're good. Weird. Um, I guess it read 1080 or something. Ah. Oh, you finally got a ring fit, Slenders? Nice. All oh, right. I need to. This is a mic only game because it's playing in the room. Let me get my gear, my workout gear. Uh, yeah, it seems like um, Nintendo has. Shockingly, you know, rare for Nintendo. Jesus. Rare for Nintendo, but it seems like they were dealing with supply constraints. People like to, I don't know, people like to accuse Nintendo of conspiratorial uh, manufacturing processes, but I think it's really just a case of like, they don't like, I feel like Nintendo doesn't like having ass loads of inventory because once, once something's done with like, once once Nintendo's done selling a physical good, it's big done. And uh, they usually don't want a lot of excess stuff going around, so. How fast do you expect to get swole? Well, that's a tough question, because I never was, wasn't was swole. So, uh, I guess instantly would be the answer. I expect to become swole instantly and stay that way forever. Oops. Oh, that's right, the bumper becomes it. What's up, Resonator? Putting you on the background while I'm soldering at work. Hey, nice. Hopefully I won't uh, shout or injure myself, causing you to jerk violently and burning the shit out of your forearm. There's no way that could happen. I still haven't bought replacement uh, soldering tips. Still haven't done that. Granted, uh, fixing my speaker was the last time I've had to solder in like 10 years, so. However, I'm thinking about diving into retro hardware, which means I might need to be soldering a whole lot more. So I guess we'll find out. Hey, Black Knight, good to see you. Also, Pirate Loots, hello. Turn my fully functioning speakers out so I can hear that projected sound. Maybe turn them away from the mic a little bit. Uh, so, usual disclaimer. I am on uh, very few calories, which means I'm not gonna be just bursting with energy through these workouts. It's kind of not the point. It's really just to get through, get a little get a little heart rate lift, and then maybe try to keep some muscle tone and range of motion while I'm cutting calories really hard. My uh, my back has been just really stiff the past couple of days. I don't know what's going on. I have I've been like rolling out my back really hard to try to get around it. My seat, my sitting posture probably has something to do with it. Um, I've been trying to adjust that. Last time. Hey, McDoodley. All right. Oh, you've already burned yourself many times. Yeah. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step All forward right, these. and drop your hips. Breathe in as you extend your leg. Breathe out as you pull it back. This feels more like a leg workout than a back stretch. Feel your back muscles stretching. I don't know. I have a massage gun. Let's do one more of each. Toe cutter. All right. Good. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head huh. and lean to the I'm wearing side. socks today. My foot just Step slipped. Forward without letting your head drop. Damn it. Try not to bounce during this stretch. One more of each. Great job. You sound like Godzilla. Yeah. This house has a raised foundation, and I'm not currently using a like a shock mount for my mic. So it's going to like every thump is going to not only reverberate in the room, but also travel through the floor 
up my mic arm and directly into the mic. Mike. Yeah, I, ha I have a mat. It's just this way. So behold, if I step out to the sides, not on the mat. Now, I know what you're thinking. Just turn it. But every stretch in Ring Fit involves the mat facing the screen. So. Can't wait. I can't wait to be jacked or to stay jacked or to get more jacked. I can't remember what I was saying. <sighs> oh, yeah. I guess this is going to be all yoga poses. Yeah. But you know, these are good. These are good. That's fine. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know it could sort like that. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, probably want to keep knee lifts because that's good cardio and that's kind of what I'm here for. I feel like I don't need recovery on independent stages. You can usually get through fights without dying. I don't know what like an overhead bend, I guess. What are my what are my heavy hitters? Yeah, how is arm twist? Such high damage. Weird. I guess that hits three though. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Malcolm. Steph got the got the alien. It's actually a uh, a tissue box holder. So you can pull tissues out of his tummy, which kind of makes sense for an alien. But yeah, this shirt was actually given to me by a fan. Don't use arm twists. Seems low workout. It is. Uh, it's fine. Not everything has to be a pain in the ass. Oh no! There's sesame seeds in this level. No! Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes in this game it's like... There are some exercises that are pretty profoundly easy and do a good amount of damage. So if you really wanted to min-max it, you could set all your attacks to be those. Like trunk twists and arm flips and... So, you know, a bit of a back and forth, really. As usual, if you want to, like, if you're just in it for the illusion of, of uh, progress, it's pretty easy to get that. Well, oh no! Dang it! Look at all the ingredients I'm missing. Do you feel like cutting calories has an impact on your mental well-being? It absolutely has in the past. Um, Hoberfinkel. Cutting calories, I feel like, has to be a pretty... You have to be pretty aware of what you're doing. And also pretty knowledgeable about how your body and your mental state changes based on your food level. The first couple times I tried cutting calories, I didn't do it with a proper nutrition. And a, like a lot of my daily calories are still filled with junk. And after a few days, actually af after about a week, yeah, my mental status deteriorated pretty quickly. I was getting, you know, I guess stereotypically you'd say cranky, but I was definitely much more, I overreacted to a lot of things. I took things way more personally just like my, my emotional endurance was really, really low. And it took me a long time to figure out that that was the cause. Damn it. Oh. It's, okay, so it's left. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, not bo Naughty boy. Counting calories was too intense for me because I had the knowledge of calorie count but not taking into account the things that could or would improve my food and then would relapse and overeat and drink. Yes, I think that's pretty common. Is that people's people's diets are filled with kind of fluff and non-nutritional food. And then when they cut calories, all they do is trim down the fluff that they're eating, but they're still eating a lot of fluff. And if you're count if you're counting calories and trying to go for low calorie counts, you can't really afford to eat fluff. Um, your body will get malnourished and you'll you'll kind of lose lose I think 
So this is a weird way to do warrior. Thank you, Malcolm. Yeah, my legs are probably my uh, best physical asset. Got a good face. DDR legs. More like being an overweight guy and doing tons and tons and tons of road running. Mecha Arc, thank you for the five subs, dude. Giving me the power and the money to get ripped. Yeah, uh, Z Yamato, this is, this is absolutely on max difficulty. Okay. I play, I even play Ring Fit as a maximum gamer. Get swole, that's the idea. though that doing this with palms facing up does make a lot of the tightness in my back kind of feel I can feel it a lot more yoga is real good about that if there's something in your body that's not right you will feel it now I think most people kind of automatically and unconsciously compensate for those things that aren't right myself included but that's the point of yoga you know listening to your body well, that's the point of all physical workout. But... Hey, what's up, Kutanaga? Good to see you. Ankle's a little weird. There we go. Can you hack in this game? You can hack your body. No hacking mini games yet. Not that I've found. Okay. Fat ass yoga ball. Oh yeah, good old chair pose. Actually, me seeing how useful Ring Fit might be as an immunosuppressed person who lives in a very restrictive spaces. I mean, yeah, uh, there's been a run on Ring Fit lately for that very reason. It's a good way to sort of gamify working out. This is not quite horse stance, but I appreciate where your head's at. Oh boy, Whew. your legs would have to be further apart for this to be a proper horse stance. Let's get back a little bit. I think I was bonking the mic. I will. stop until your shoulders and neck become one unfortunately that's kind of how my body feels right now 
Feels like a lot of my back muscles have fused in my spine. Oh. Stop mowing the dirt. Uh, this is a fitness game for the Switch. Uh, it uses a resistive ring and a thigh strap to hold the two controllers of the Switch. And from there, it can measure a lot of exercises that you do. Uh, the framing device of the game is a sort of like JRPG-esque game. Each attack does a particular amount of damage. You go through turn-based fights. Um, you can also equip different exercise gear to change your stats. There are different kinds of exercises, and different kinds of exercises have different... It's kind of like Pokemon a little bit. Like, leg exercises will be better against some enemies, arms will be better against some enemies. So they do a pretty good job of adapting general fitness into a JRPG. It's like, this is more of a cardio motion. Shy guy, a little bit. <sighs> okay. What are some butt exercises? Squat. This right here. Game of two-player or multiplayer? Not really. Not that I can. Not that I know of. I mean, you'd just be smacking somebody with a ring. Uh, it does have mini games though, like dance and rhythm mini games. <sighs> Broke my toe snorkeling over the weekend. So I'm out of the Ring Fit game for at least a week. Yeah, you should probably let that heal. Um, I think there are ways to turn off hopping. I think it does have an apartment mode. But... And ring fit with a weighted vest. Yeah, if that's a... If, if it's got to be extreme, that's a way to do it. So let's see here. Be like that, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, Ring Fit Dragon Ball Z style. I'm gonna go into my time chamber, play Ring Fit 40,000 times. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, my, my particular body, because I've been, I've been pretty active and lifting weights and trying to develop muscle mass. I just feel like for years it's been covered by fat, so I'm really excited to lose weight and see what it looks like under there. Ugh. Okay, let's 
Ah, mighty Neptune betrayed you. Busca. It happens. Your abs start showing their Tetris block shapes. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Except it's like an S piece. Why? Jeez. Those images of fat injected muscles kind of rub me the wrong way. Pabble, I don't know what you're referring to. Um, perhaps you're confused. The gentlemen here and below are natural bodies. Natural, healthy male bodies that uh, we should all strive towards, really. You know, it's with our busy lives and our jobs and kids and, you know, it's just not feasible, I think, for us all to attain that. But that's okay. You can still strive for it, which I think is the goal, you know? Oh, you really like what they're doing with Warrior 2? It's interesting. Having to like, I think doing that motion really does, for me at least, it's not that it's a chest or a back workout, but that transition, I can like feel the muscle groups on my back sort of shifting and, and alternating. And for me, like on the left side of my back, that's where I can feel the tightness, especially if my chin's tucked properly. So, huh. Uh, yeah, no, it's really, it's really interesting. Ah, crap. These annihilated me last time. Uh, I think I'm too weak to do wide squats right now. The Warrior 1 is actually really, really interesting too. You basically have to tilt your entire upper body back and forth which to me feels much more like a normal yoga workout. It kind of fires all those stabilization muscles and it means you have to have a really good base. Otherwise your back's gonna kink out and you'll be leaning over it. It's all the stuff I gotta pay attention to. Oh, hey Alex. Oh. Has it, is it easier to take control of your weight now that you're no longer working at Funhouse? Oh yeah, massively easier. I'm not working like stressful 10 hour days with no lunch break. Ah! Um, typically what would happen, uh, especially during 2019, is I would like, I would have to amp myself up on a ton of caffeine to get through like the morning's work. Then maybe around one or two, there'd be a lull. Uh, and that's typically when I could eat. Um, but essentially like, Caffeine would make it really, really difficult to tell when I was hungry. Um, so I would go significant portions of the day, I think, uh, not eating right or not eating the proper amount. So I would essentially hit these like crash points where I would load my body up with food and then kind of go back into the haze of trying to grind out YouTube videos and uh, deal with just a, just a whole raft of uh, bureaucratic issues. Um, Man, it, it is wild. 
Nothing like fasting during the off hours to make up for working yourself sick during daylight. Or feasting, yeah, sorry. Definitely not fasting. Yeah, that's, that's basically the cycle. All to make somebody else a lot of money. Feels good. Uh, Frosty, I have this and I'll be honest, I do not really use it. I'm a bigger guy and have trouble keeping the damn leg, leg strap in place. Yeah, that, Frosty, that happened to me too. Um, namely that like, to get it around my thigh, uh, it would either be too loose and fall off, or it would be so tight that the Velcro would just pop open whenever I did like a squat or something. Um, for me, I think I just started putting it against my skin and not necessarily over my clothes. Um, the skin holds the, the strap a little better, but if you do that, you definitely want to like make sure you spray it down with something afterwards, because if you're just sweating directly into it every day, uh, it's, it's going to start smelling pretty rank, I would imagine. Um, but you know, it's not hard to find. You can get like, you can get gym cleaner anywhere. I just have a little bottle of this. I usually use it like every other workout. I spray down the ring and the strap just to keep them a little civilized. Also the yoga mat. Oh, <laughs> seven key 64. You assumed it was just sh shovelware. That's, I think a lot of people did that. I was really bummed out. This game came out and no one cared. Uh, I think because, yeah, everyone wrote it off. It's not a real game. It's, uh, gamers, gamers don't care about fitness. Fuck this. I was, I was really bummed and honestly kind of disappointed in, like, the game's media ecosphere for not celebrating this game more. Did you ever play Wii Fit? Yeah, a lot. Oh, it was and still isn't practically impossible to get a copy? I mean, before quarantine, you, it wasn't that hard to find. But yeah, quarantine really did a, a number on this game's awareness. And I'm happy, I'm glad that the, uh, I'm glad that a circumstance emerged make people a little more aware of fitness and gaming. It's so challenging to keep my hips under me while I'm doing this tilt. <sighs> yeah, I remember when, the, when it came out, I walked, I walked to the mall to get a copy at the GameStop there, and like, even the dude at the counter didn't really know what it was. Oh, in super far north Sweden, it's hard to find a copy of that scaring every online store. Oh, really? Even when it launched? Man, okay. Gotta admit, I'm not, not super knowledgeable about the way games are distributed in other territories. Bending my back. Maybe I gotta get up a little higher. Damn it. Ah. Slow down. I'm trying. your current total weight loss playing this game if that's a stat I mean they do track calories it's not even a pound I think I burn like maybe 1500 calories you don't lose weight through exercise I mean you can but that's not really where it comes from um, 
Uh, it's just like, like everything, uh, exercise is vital to living a happy lifestyle. Um, you will get some fringe benefits through uh, increased muscle mass and just elevated metabolism, but don't come to this game for calorie burn. Um, it will get you fit, but you won't drop body weight because of this game alone. And the game is pretty clear about that too. But yeah, you gain weight in the gym, you lose weight in the kitchen. The more that like, the more that I learn about my body and my fitness, it, it just proves true over and over. Um, health is the union of both. It's having a good balanced diet and a somewhat active lifestyle. You gotta have both. But for your specific uh, fitness goal, if you want to lose body weight, um, I think I think Ring Fit can be invaluable in making you more active and more aware of your body. But really, it's yeah, it's uh, it is diet. Yeah, Alex, diet's always been the hardest part for me too. It's hard to not do something. It's easier to do it, whether that's working out or eating food. Activity for me is easier. Abstinence is not of anything. Whether it's doing something I want to do or something I don't, weirdly. Taking activity. Whew. Yeah, so Brock, these thighs are a byproduct of not understanding how to lose weight. Uh, no! Uh, the conventional wisdom that was repeated to me in like in high school and by my parents was that uh, you do you do low impact cardio to burn calories and that's how you lose weight. Shit. So I just did an ass load of running. So much running. For like 15 years, I would run three to four, three to four miles a night. And I was like 70 pounds overweight. So uh, yeah, basically running with resistance will give you massive, massive legs, but it didn't make me lose weight. How are your knees after that? They're fine, I don't really have knee problems. Also, you can high knee and land without like pummeling the floor. You just gotta, you know, land soft. Land on the balls of your feet. Use your leg muscles to absorb the impact instead of just feeling like you're stomping the floor. Yeah. Oh. Knee game, oh yeah. Game gym. Wine has a fuck ton of calories, yeah. Wine and beer, probably the worst. Huh. Oh jeez. All right. Oh, do you just have to time it? Okay, it doesn't come back. All right. Nope. There we go. So I got fat in the army. Oh, beer? Yeah. Beer is so good though, man.
Okay, so the more jumps you miss. Got it. Oh, whatever, we got there. Imagine a workout game, but Mario? Are you referring to DDR Nintendo Mix on the GameCube? Or whatever it was called? I don't remember the name of that thing. Ooh. Drink after being defeated to revive. Oh. I got a phoenix down. Really? Nah, come on, we can do one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay hydrated, my ass. Actually, how long is this? Uh, okay. Mmm, yeah. I work at Gimbal with Samus? Yeah. All I want is Samus standing over me, looking derisively at me while I sweat on the floor. Death Stranding via treadmill? I mean, you can put a, uh, you can put a treadmill in front of a TV. How long does your ring fit session usually go? It depends. Usually 40 minutes to an hour, but that's because I take a lot of breaks. Because, uh, like I said, calorie deficit. But I had a pretty bitchin' cup of coffee, so I'm feeling it. Fuck you. Why not? All right. You can jump a little higher by bending your knees more. Yeah. Do you just do you have to do it multiple times? Oh, okay. What? Huh? Maybe. Okay, yeah. You just have to jump multiple times. Okay. Wait, sneak a little, some squats in there, some cheeky squats. Oh yeah. Wait, let me. Hey, Luca Che. Che. Ugh. God damn. Luca Chavez. Thank you for the prime. God damn. These pretzels suck. Thanks for the prime. Evan, thank you for the cheer. Oh, infant, in fatal blow. Thanks for the prime. Thank you guys. I don't have any, I don't have any right to be collecting that fat Amazon money, but thank you guys. Oh. Okay. Oh, I didn't change my. Uh, I didn't change my. I didn't change my junk. Frick. Uh. That's annoying. Yeah. It is what it is. See your opinion left knee. Whatever, it's a yoga day. Oh, see you, Alex. Have a good day at work. Alright. Gotta go. Gotta go big thigh cam here. Whew, okay. Should let you change on the fly? I don't think it does. Twenty minutes in your ring fit session, and I never felt more out of shape in my life. Oh, it's good. Here's the thing: you were that out of shape the whole time. You just didn't know. This is the point of physical activity. It actually is a good diagnostic for where your body's at. I think a lot of people avoid it because they don't want to know subconsciously. I know I'm like that sometimes. 
It's easier to just pretend you're, everything's fine than to actually go and work out and realize it's not. Come on. <sighs> But that's good. It's uh, it takes a lot more bravery to confront that and decide to do something about it than it is to uh, to ignore it. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Fat Josh. Yeah, again, like the legs are a byproduct of actually not not knowing how to attain my fitness goals. God damn it. Okay. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Amazing. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, these are gonna take it out of me. Nope. This uh, this set might take a minute for me to get through. These are these are exercises I need to do though. Mmm. The smaller guys, so appreciate the mass gain you were able to attain. Yeah. Uh, not for me. I uh, I overate for like. 20 years. Um, didn't know about calories. Probably chose not to know at some level. But uh, I got I got these legs by being 70, 80 pounds overweight and just doing a ton of running and walking. Um, so yeah, I got pretty banging legs because of it. But I had to spend 10 years trying to jog off uh, like 4,000 calorie days. It just didn't work. But I did develop incredible legs accidentally incidentally i put in the work even though that wasn't what i was trying to do it's weird how it turns out What you guys meant about the rumble it's because i'm bending the ring right next to the mic i can back off a little bit hopefully it's not too annoying uh yeah nick absolutely it's terrible to see how many calories you're actually having when you look yeah when i started when i started calorie tracking for the first time i was depressed like it's weird it's a it's a mixture of factors of like when, you're when I started looking at the real numbers, I was like, oh, I guess it's not my metabolism. I guess it's not my genetics. I guess it's not all these things. It's actually that I'm eating way too much. Um, and then there's that like depression and frustration of like, motherfucker, why did it take me this long to figure out something so simple? And then the adjustment phase is real fun of like actually eating like 1800 calories a day and seeing what that actually looks like and then being shocked that your body can actually function on such little amounts of food. That's, that's frustrating. What's your favorite calorie tracking app? I've been using my fitness pal, but it's getting pretty, it's getting pretty ad heavy. Um, but it, it works. Um, it can just be a little slow and they're starting to shove like Facebook style video ads into it. Yazio is real good. Maybe I need to try that. Cause yeah, my fitness pal is kind of getting on my annoying. Uh, kind of getting on my nerves. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'll check out Yazio. I, I haven't tried, I've only tried my fitness pal and then the uh, the tracking app from Nutrisystem because I just got done with like a, a diet program from them, which kind of kicked off this whole diet adjustment. The Samsung one works great. What's the, what's the name of that one? Oh, this one games? Hey man. Well, thank you for thanking me. Uh, I appreciate the sentiment. Nice. 
I'm just out here doing some overhead bends. Appreciate that, this one. Ooh. God. Bruh. Oh, Yeldon, yeah. I'm real lucky uh, in regards to this house. Stephanie has done most of the decorating. At best, I contribute a few things that she figures out how to place in a great layout, so. Yeah, I mean, minus the rock band kit, that's just there for me. But yeah, she's, she's handled the rest of this, really. Okay. Uh, True Brit, you just picked up your, co your copy? Excited to get going with it? Yeah, the video game aspect helps a lot. It helps distract you from like the discomfort of working out. It gives you motivation, right? Because you always want to beat a boss. So it's like, I feel like, and it's, it's really good about being very considerate. It's like you can stop in the middle of anything. It'll stop your timer, but it doesn't nag you. It doesn't be like, hey, let's go. Like it doesn't do any of that. It's very clear about like, you take on as much challenge as you want. We'll even like try, they actually try to shove you away from overexerting yourself because they know if you burn out, you tend to not come back. So it's very good about like presenting you with realistic and attainable goals and then also pushing you away if you feel like you're trying to do too much. <sighs> but yeah, there, there, is no, there is no getting into fitness without discomfort, uh, at least at the beginning, that's part of it. <sighs> Again, it's that, it's that realization that your body is kind of a, pile of cobwebs and rickety old muscles that haven't been touched in a while. They really know what their audience target is? Yeah, they did. And I, th I think they got a lot of usability studies off of Ring Fit too that went into this game. Uh, it's very mindful and compassionate. Yeah, it's great. Um, they, they also seem to have completely ditched that weird sort of Asian tone about weight that we Fit kind of had that rubbed some people the wrong way. Uh, it gets easier to accept the discomfort. That's like most of what working out is. Yeah. For me, it's finding an activity where I get distracted and don't notice the discomfort, whether that's through like music that I'm listening to or just some virtue of the workout, whether it's like rock climbing or, or a sport. So for me, like MMA and wrestling was great at that. Because if you're like fighting someone, first of all, you have adrenaline on your side. But second of all, you don't get to just stop when you're tired <laughs> and you don't even really think about it. You just slip into another mode, it's great. It's an easy way to push past all the limits that your thinking brain tells you you have. Because your thinking brain is just trying to get you to stay inside, pack on fat so you stay alive. Man, I think I'm doing those reps right because they're starting to hit all sorts of things trying to use the stabilizers, stabilizers in my back to hold my arms up, I'm trying to use my glutes to keep my core up. Whew, that is way harder when you actually engage all the muscles you're supposed to instead of just doing it like a slob. It's like doing a deadlift right and just how exhausting it can be because it's firing so many muscles. <sighs> you deserve some of that sweet Nintendo sponsor money. Hey, who knows? Maybe this will get me in their good graces. All the Nintendo seems to be really uh, selective when it comes to partners that they send stuff to or choose to work, uh, work with. You know, brand, they usually like to make sure that they, uh, especially, man, after the last couple of years. <sighs> mm. That head rush should be deadlift too quickly. I mean, yeah, you get that, you get that, like, spike of blood pressure. But for me, even, it's just the, uh, it's the mental taxation of firing a bunch of very large muscle groups all at the same time in the right way. That requires a certain amount of uh, concentration and mental awareness that can actually, it's just like draining. 
This is kind of the same way, but I'm also exerting a lot of mental energy to make sure that I'm using the right muscles instead of just trusting my body to do it for me because my body doesn't do it right. You're right, I could ask Reggie for a job at Nintendo again. I could ask Reggie for a job at GameStop again. Maybe he'd let me manage my old store. <sighs> That'd be exciting. God, what a time capsule that'd be. Sometimes I wonder about that. If like some th everything in my life exploded and I went back to work at GameStop, what would that be like? I mean, now it'd be terrible. More than, more than usual. Quarantine and all, but. Okay. I think you having those synthol Eastern Europeans on stream has already made you qualified for Nintendo, unqualified for Nintendo sponsorship. Yeah, you might be right. I also probably don't hit a demo that they're looking for. And let's be honest, you know, in 2020, I don't think anyone needs a middle-aged white dude in their sponsor lineup. Plenty of those go on already. And that's not complaining, by the way. I'm doing just fine. But it's something I use to sort of adjust my expectations. You know, the world is not clamoring for another slightly overweight 30, 30 something white dude to tell you about video games. That's just because they don't know my true power. What if I'm not slightly overweight anymore? Then they can't say no. Come on. Which, I'm gonna be honest, is in the back of my head a little bit. I have seen opportunity and like undue opportunity come to people just because they look good. And again, that's, that's an LA thing, but it's also just a human thing. I've seen people get promotions they don't deserve to jobs they didn't want because they were just perceived as being, as having certain personality traits because they were in shape and kind of had a deep voice. Oh, it's kind of gross, but. That's, that's the way the world turns sometimes. So I'm curious if I, uh, if I get into super shape, if uh, career opportunities will open for me. Um, it'll be fun to see. Uh, it'll be fun to see if the things that I used to just never even be talked talk to about, suddenly these opportunities start popping up out of nowhere just because my image is different. Unfortunately, it's, it's the way of the world right now. Uh, now that I'm dwelling on it, I'm... You'd be shocked sometimes the things that people can get away with just because they look good. Men and women. how it be. I unfortunately want to lose weight just to do porn. How is that unfortunate? Also, I don't think you necessarily have to lose weight for that. There's a market for everything. I guess it really just depends on the kind of porn you want to do. Oh shit! I didn't know they could heal. I guess laying down child's pose is a pretty healing one, yeah. I mean, Ron Jeremy. I mean, you're assuming you're assuming male, uh, but I would say for either party. Yeah, sadly, so people will perceive you a certain way based on how you look. They judge your aptitude to do work and focus based on how you look. Yeah, I think shitty people would probably say that like your body says a lot about your personality, which is fucked. Um, it's really more like the people who are in shape. There's some aspect like they were able to find what works for them, which, you know, to some degree, you can chalk up to uh, willingness to explore, willingness to tolerate discomfort. But it's really also about having the freedom and the time to explore with that stuff. If you have a physical disability or a mental disability, or you have no money, or you're working two jobs, like there are all sorts of things that get in the way of, of good, mentally well-adjusted, productive people from having the kinds of bodies that 
we expect them to. But, you know, it's, uh, that's, again, that's just how it be. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Christ, that worried. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Living situations, isolated spaces. It said a lot on systems theory. Uh, everything is connected. Huh. I can't, can't say I'm super knowledgeable about those topics. Hurry! Oh. Uh. I'll take a minute after that one. Hey, nice man. Welcome. Welcome to the swell stream. We're all getting big. Oh. thigh cam in there, right? I'm out here teaching men that it's okay to be hot. It's okay. You can be jacked. It's okay. People aren't going to think you're a slut. Unless you want to be. That's fine too. Tuck that chin. I'm looking at myself on the webcam to correct my posture. Oh. That battle was epic. Epic. You guys remember when everything was epic? What a time. Oh. I think my online activity would suggest more about me than my appearance. Yeah, probably same. Eh, no. Actually, they're, they're probably pretty synchronized at this point. The man said, wearing a hot today Miku shirt. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, that works. Go down here. <sighs> Fine. Oh, United, do you have incentive for group fitness classes? Yeah, that can be tough. Thing is, like, most normal people in a gym are going to be way more concerned with what they're doing than what you're doing. There may be some people who are shitty about it and will judge you. But they're, they're assholes. Fuck them. If anything, I don't know if it helps, turn it into spite. Like, make narratives in your head where you're like proving all those assholes wrong, even though they may not actually exist. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of exercising around other people either. Um, I don't know. For me, exercise is largely an introspective experience. You know, unlike this stream, where I basically just 
expose my internal monologue. But honestly, streaming this game is also... <sighs> partially to get me more comfortable with the state of my body. <sighs> it's a way for me to explore my own body image issues too. Oh boy. Yeah, no Kraken. I understand the, uh, the irony of it. This, believe it or not, this is me pushing myself out of my comfort zone. On purpose. I also get money for it because I'm streaming, so there's, you know, there's some fringe benefits. Uh, Dead Boy Bees, thank you for the prime, speaking of. I'm gonna watch the world burn. Thank you for the sub. <sighs> yeah, Wild Tintin. I'm not really, I'm not a hero for working out on the internet, but that is where my head's at. Brr. Maybe I'll do this one. Oh yeah, Lost Shepherd. I, I saw the headline about that, but I didn't read the, uh, I didn't read the story. Mm. 17 year old spent 20 grand on Twitch. I mean, it was gonna happen eventually, right? Oh. We were all just waiting. Thing is like, how many headlines like that, like that have we seen? Because it's not many. It really isn't. You'd think it would have happened a lot earlier and a lot more often. So, it's a good headline. It's chuckle worthy. But uh, also, yeah, Ryzen, believe me, in the back of my head, I'm like, damn it. Why can't I get any soft brain 17 year olds to give me their mom's credit card? Give me that money. I deserve to get rich off of some edge of retirement teacher in Minnesota or whatever. Oh, he's the debit card and they can't get their money back. Oh. I mean, in that situation, it, uh, I guess it depends on what really happened, but you'd like to think the streamers would uh, maybe band together and give some of it back? Maybe, but it's not me. I don't know, maybe they already spent it on rent. Maybe you should come in e girl for max money. Listen, I play games on hard, I play life on hard. If I wanted to be an e girl, I would have done it a long time ago. But I'm out here being an e boy, trying to prove that it's possible. <laughs> it's possible in 2020 to be a world popular e boy. Oh, thanks for the prime, True Brit. I think a lot of people feel strange from their bodies. Yeah. You don't always feel like you're in your body and it's hard to find incentive for or pleasure in doing anything with it. Bella, for sure. I think you've hit the nail on the head. For me, at least, I don't know why. Maybe just I just absorbed the idea through media. Uh, Chef Boyar Weeb. Thank you for the sub. But I guess when I was younger, like, the entire atmosphere and the, the I guess the choice that I felt was imposed on me as a person was that I would either be a physical person or a mental person. Um, for some reason, I thought you couldn't be both, you know? Stereotypes, I guess. Jocks have to be dumb. Nerds have to be weak. Um, so for a long time, I just assumed that since I naturally gravitated more towards introspection and overthinking things, and I had an aptitude for math and engineering and things like that, I was like, well, I'm, you know, I'm a mental dude. I'll live my life in my head. Also, you know, accented by video games, which is largely about projection of, projection of imagination. Read a lot of books, all that sort of stuff. So, for a long time, I didn't even really see the point in connecting with my body, or exploring it, or learning how to use it, or anything like that, which is real bad. And also, public school didn't do shit in that regard, which is what it was supposed to do. Uh, but no, our gym class was the the coach would like roll a cart of basketballs into the gym and just walk back into his like his office and either fall asleep or I don't know make a make a make more plays for the football team because that's all anyone cared about. Uh, so yeah, I got I got kind of behind in that regard, but I'm catching up. You know, 
Uh, basically because of all that stuff, I, I never really developed proper posture, never developed proper running form. I didn't really know how to sprint for a long time um, until I think it was, I was like 33 and I, I, I did a sprint in front of like a, uh, it was at stunt training school actually. We were supposed to sprint up to a, a mini tramp and punch off it and do a, a tap and roll. Um, and I sprinted up to the ramp and one of the guys was like, like, I, one of the instructors told me I ran like Iron Man because I would basically like throw my leg forward, slap it on the ground, and then use the friction of my foot to pull myself forward with my leg. Um, and that's when one of the instructors was like, hey, try this. Um, get, in, get into your running stance, let yourself fall forward. And the second you're about to just like fall flat on your face, push forward with your legs, like through your weight. And the second I tried that, it was, it kind of felt like that time when like Superman figures out that he's got superpowers. Cause I just exploded. I was like, Fah, wah. that was, it was so much faster. So it's like, didn't even know how to run correctly. Still don't like, I didn't practice it that much. I just tried it a little bit, but yeah, it's like using the extension of your legs rather than the contraction of them to propel your body forward. Such a radical feeling. Yeah. Good, good form makes a huge difference. It turns out it's actually pretty important. Standing up in style. <laughs> Find any tips for fixing Joy-Con drift? Replace the stick. That's what I do. I don't think there's anything else you can do. There are guides out there for it. And uh, replacement analog sticks are not that expensive. But it does require having like a particular set of screwdrivers and uh, you know, motor skill and uh, the ability to follow instructions and keep track of tiny screws. Joy-Con sticks are 25, they're way less than that other in other places. 25 bucks is actually a lot for a stick. You can get you can get Joy Joy-Con six for like ten bucks, but yeah, I guess they will sell kits. That's actually pretty smart if I fix it, but I guess you get the markup. Ugh. Okay, hold on a second. Something fell off the wall, and it stuck directly into the baseboard again in exactly the same way. Wow, it's like a growing hole there. Oi. Okay, weird. <laughs> and just like whoop, <laughs> and like the corner went <laughs> right into the same little scuff it put on the, it like fell in exactly the same way. That's weird. Uh, Kune, thank you for the sub. <sighs> There's a calibration tool in the switch. The calibration tool does not fix Joy-Con drift. At least with the Joy-Con that I fiddled with it on, it did not. When you go back to Disney, can you chant the Mickey Mouse Club song about but a Full Metal Jack? Go back to Disney. I never worked for Disney. But yeah, you know what? Sure. I'll do that. Oh, man. Pull the Joy-Con apart and hit it with air in a can. Apparently there's dust that causes the drift. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me, but why not? Oh, it helps for a time? Okay. And all the ones that I've, well, I guess my, my uh, experience is not exhaustive there, but in the ones that I've seen, it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs>
<sighs> Jesus Christ. God, I always get this thing when my heart rate jumps up. It's like my body decides the time to try to evacuate any air in my stomach. So, I don't know, like my, my abdominal muscles or my diaphragm will sort of like cramp up and like try to push air out of my stomach. So I end up having these weird like convulsions sometimes. I don't get it. Maybe it's the caffeine. <sighs> Abs too tight? Maybe. It's weird. It's usually, it's usually like, I'll do a set and then like my heart rate will spike. And then once the interval's over, that's when my body's like, okay, time to burp. I'm like, why? Oh, huh. Benji Bubs. Thanks for the sub. Also, Spoonfuls. That's a great name. I will stay hard forever. That is my promise. It's the fat burning gases that are escaping your body. Every burp is one one hundredth of a pound. What's your pre and post workout stretching routine like? Just what the game offers up. The game has some really light stretches before and after. Uh, typically, when I get up and take a break while streaming, I'll do some stretches then. Um, lately, I've been advised, based on some physical trainers that have seen my form, to do uh, wall stretches, where you basically put your hands on the wall and then try to go 90 degrees with your feet on the floor. Uh, and that's been useful. <sighs> okay. Left foot forward. I never know exactly how low they want me to get into this stance. I guess as low as you can get without curving your back. I'm gonna guess that's probably the idea. Which means like here basically, this like, this hip flexor right here is just really, really tight. So, just this leg in general. To keep my heel on the floor, I can't, like I have to start leaning forward. Not a problem. Probably. I could just be putting my hands in the air and twirling them right now. <sighs> this is much harder. What's up, Jumbo Shrimp? We're just getting big, man. I'm trying. Ah, yes, Buska. Yes, 
Found out recently from a physical therapist, I have no activation of my back and lower trap muscles when using my arms. So my whole life I've been lifting and putting load directly onto my shoulder muscles with no stabilization. Dude, exact same. Exact same. Uh, well, you don't have to answer, but I think a lot of people who never learn proper, proper body language and proper posture have that exact same problem. Uh, yeah, for me, like I would do rows, but I wouldn't do them properly, like really pinching in with the back. I would roll my shoulder forward and yank them up with the shoulder muscles because you can lift more weight that way. And if you never know that that's what, not what you're supposed to do, you don't know. So yeah. Yeah, Busca, are, are you doing the like, are you doing resistance bands um, to train your, your, uh, your back pinching muscles? I, I, I've learned this like a year ago and it's been a consistent process. I spend a little time every day massaging out those muscles and trying to activate them because yeah. Oh, I was tall and heavy when I was young, so I slouched a lot because I was six foot in fifth grade. Yeah. Uh, I always, uh, I always had pretty bad posture too because, you know, my body language was awful. I was ashamed of my body. I had big old flabby moves, but you're finally starting to go away. But I thought if I did this, it would make them less pronounced, which it kind of did, but also is way worse. Because when you do that, you pinch your front together and then your fat collects. If you actually roll your shoulders back, your chest looks more open and smaller. Yeah, exactly, Busca. Hey, look at that. Same shit, man. It's, it's ridiculous how much body image informs body posture, informs body health. It, it really is like, it's a whole circle. How you feel about yourself and how you carry yourself. That's, that's sometimes when there, there may be some element of truth to like somebody's physical appearance can tell you about their other intangible things about them, but never rely on that because somebody's posture may be a certain way for any number of reasons. You can feel that your chest pulls your shoulder together. Yeah, pulls your posture down when you try to stand straight. For me, it's mostly that these, these muscles were overdeveloped because I worked them out a lot. So they were big and tight and then it would pull these muscles apart, which then prevented my shoulder muscles from sitting where they should. So yeah, it's a whole thing. And you know, the body is just infinitely interconnected. So if there's a problem in one place, it's gonna ricochet all around and cause all sorts of disconnected problems. Well, connected, but seemingly disconnected to you. That's the really annoying thing about the body is you might be experiencing pain somewhere, but it's actually a result of some other messed up shit that your body decided to work around for you without telling you. Oh, yeah. God, I'm sweating so much. Oh, these socks are getting soaked. I think I was carrying a lot of water. Oh, slacked because of COVID, ended up getting a shoulder impingement. Couldn't lift my left arm for a week and a half. Dude, ooh. I'm very sorry to hear that. Overhead hip shake, what the fuck? Ooh. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, we'll go with this, whatever. I hope there's, I hope that was the last fight. Uh, maybe I should have stopped when it told me to. Oh yeah, that's right. I think you have to pull apart. Try bending your elbows slightly and keep pulling up. Uh, this one's really good for trying to make sure I'm activating the right back muscles. Uh. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Uh. What's up, Gamer X29? <sighs> Ooh. I'm a poser. 
Bowser. Finally. Oh. Oh. If Ring Fit gets you moving when you weren't, then Ring Fit has done a good job. I agree. Kind of like Wii Fit, I feel like Ring Fit acknowledges even within the scope of the game that it's not a total, a total solution, but it is an excellent tool to, yeah, to get you thinking about it. So maybe it starts to pervade more aspects of your life. So for example, you do a, a really annoying workout and you see that you only burned 150 calories, suddenly a mini bag of Doritos starts to just feel different. Oh, lat pull down is a great activation of the lower traps. Set the weight to about 20. Grab the bar and try to move the bar down without using anything but squeezing your back. You only move it an inch, but it's huge. Huh. I don't think I've ever done those. I've just done, uh, yeah, uh, wide in the neutral grip, lat pull down. I'm in pull ups, of course. Shoulders just popped. Bring yourself back slowly. Put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee and oh, stretch nice. out your left calf. More useful than most YouTube workouts, trying an intense regimen for the first time. Yeah, I think when most people approach fitness, they, uh, I should I should be more personal. In the past, when I've gotten all fired up to fix my life, I want to like bite off the biggest, heaviest challenge I can because I want to, one, prove to myself that I'm not that bad off in the first place, and then two, coming at it with the mindset that I just have to overcome one challenge and then I'm done, which is both are bad motivations. So, but I could see why people would both gravitate towards those exercises and why they would be more popular on YouTube. problem Ugh. man my hips are so stiff right now they used to be so limber when I was doing insanity but insanity had like minutes and minutes and minutes of hip flexor stretches because all you were doing was jumping and hopping and running Ugh. Huh. hell yeah see like This is awesome. Uh, will squats make my leg look, legs look bigger? Probably not. Unless you're doing squats while holding heavy weights, your legs won't get thicker easily. However, squats do use muscles in your legs and buttocks. So you may see some differences in the overall appearance of your lower, lower body. This game not only encourages healthy workout habits, but also sets very reasonable expectations. And it's very good about that. One of the things I really loved that I've mentioned before is that right at the beginning, it actually messages women specifically and says, hey, don't worry, you're not gonna get like huge with this. It's actually very hard to get huge. You have to try. This will just make you fit, which is really, really awesome. <sighs> good workout. Boy, you wanted a quick way to look that good? Medical. <laughs> Go pay a doctor to suck it out. As far as I know, that's the only quick way. Um, and even then, if your lifestyle doesn't support that body, you won't keep it for very long. 
<sighs> okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a break. I'm drenched, so I gotta go take a shower and shave. Oh, that was a response to an early chat combo. My bad. My bad. Uh, I mean, synthol is right there. If you want to get want to get huge and beautiful. Uh, and I went through that whole thing of water already. Uh, all right, shower. I gotta shave. Um, eat lunch. So kind of an extended break here. Uh, but I'll be back with uh, Doom Eternal. Yeah, I wasn't super happy <laughs> with my last uh, play of that game. But then again, it was a long time ago. So playing Lifeline. How do people even know about Lifeline? That was such a nothing game. Um, but uh, I guess it's bad. I've heard references to that a couple of times over the past couple of years. And I'm like, how does even anyone even remember that? Do you have a PS2? Or is there another game called Lifeline? This is the one where you have to scream at that girl through the headset. Anyway, extended break. I want to say maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Um, oh, Mike, thank you for the tip, by the way. Uh, appreciate that. Threw, threw down the real gamer amount. But uh, yeah, Doom after the break, Paper Mario after that. There you are. And then uh, Rock of Ages 3 came out today. When will Tsushima stream come back? Probably Thursday. Yeah, definitely Thursday. But I played it like all day yesterday, so man, I love that game. Okay, be back in a minute, guys. See you soon. Street is